One key person linked with the tribe of Asher is Anna. See, Anna was able because she gave her best to the Lord every month. The minute they brought Yeshua in, she knew who he was. She could see. Some of you, you've got the capacity to say, that's God. I see what God's doing. I know what he's doing. This month, lots of healing. See, I've had to press through since June with a bad diagnosis. Lord said, the Lord told me back in June that if I would press through, if I would not agree, and I would say, Lord, it's not easy not to agree with the, who will declare the report of the Lord. What's that song? I said, looking at those pictures, it's not easy to agree with what I see. He said, if you will agree, I will be faithful and your stomach will be healed by the end of Shabbat. See, you have to think like that. Or else the enemy will just take you out the first time you say, oh, my God, I just sneezed. Because don't let this COVID thing overwhelm you. A cold can lead you into pneumonia and into death. You have to know, Lord, this thing that is floating out in the air that's after me, we're about to go to war together. And I'm going to do what is necessary to push it back so I do not agree with it in my body. From one who has had three diagnoses of it. You just have to say, I'm pushing this thing back. Sooner or later, the Spirit of God in me, the Word of God says this, the Spirit of God will sustain his infirmity. Who can withstand a broken spirit? I always say, Lord, if there's anything broken still in me, find it. Test it, deal with it, and then fix it so I can withstand this thing that's trying to weaken me. How you eat this month is very important. Now, I do want to say that. And I sure am not. I have gone and I've done about everything you can. I have walked in total obedience and hated every second of it (laughs) in eating many, many times to overcome an infirmity and, and been awful and submitted finally to the Lord. I mean, I would rather have biscuits and gravy sometimes than to feel good. Surely some of you are like that. (laughs) Just the taste of it. But see, that's how sin is. It tastes so good for a moment, but then, uh uh-oh. Now, I want to end with this. (coughs) See, First fruits, we are in, living now, coming into a harvest season. I was sharing yesterday how the sickle of heaven is moving, and that's producing harvest. And it's causing the earth to be rearranged. Now, because of that, harvest has a mandate about it. That mandate begins with first fruits. Therefore, the Lord wrote the entire covenant of word around first fruits. And he said, if you'll get in that covenant cycle, I will make sure that every point on your path in a month, you can unlock it. Now, that's what first fruits is really about. Let's go to first fruits, Chad, and let's look at Shabbat. 
because you want to always say, Lord, what is it I'm giving into this month? See, I couldn't wait. Right now, while we're talking, you can just be preparing a first fruit. All of you on the web, you can be preparing a first fruit because we're not going to give an offering. We're giving a first fruit to unlock what God has for us by this time next month. See, that's the way you want to think. There are certain blessings that's going to unlock for me. And there's no rules on first, fr first fruits, people. There's no rules on how you give and what you give. It's just, Lord, I'm going to present to you, I'm going to look at my lump, and I'm going to present to you the best I know of that lump right now so that you can cause the rest of the lump to some way come alive and be blessed. And all of a sudden, when you start going through the Word of God and you see this month, you realize how you're giving this month is causing a plan to, to sustain three generations coming behind you. It's causing some madness to fall off that bloodline of yours. It's causing a leader to arise and redeem something that needs to be done. This month is the month of Asher related to the tribe of Asher. Therefore, Asher was a fruitful, bountiful tribe. And all of a sudden, you're tasting and you're seeing. All of a sudden, you know what God's going to do in this COVID thing this month? He's, gonna, he's going to do away with this thing so our taste, and, our taste was removed. There's going to be this supernatural healing sweep through. And all of a sudden, we're going to start savoring the moment. And savoring the taste of something. You're not just going to eat. You're going to eat with him. And you're going to all of a sudden savor some taste you missed in another season. 